They had mass on Sunday in four different languages, one of which was Italian. And the people, the Italians who were in San Pedro, a lot of them were from Sicily. And so the, today's feast for them, the feast of St. Lucy or Santa Lucia, was very, very important to them. And it's interesting, it's not, you know, sometimes, sometimes you hear that doctors will hold up St. Luke as their patron saint because he was a doctor, or that accountants will hold up St. Matthew as their patron saint because he was a tax collector. But the people of Sicily looked up to Santa Lucia only because she was from there. She was one of them. And I think it's that's, it's that's the spirit for us to look at the season of Advent with. That we hear in the first reading today, to whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One. And yet this God, who is so far above any one of us, chooses to come to earth, to be one of us. Someone we can relate to, and somebody, as we heard in the first reading, and as we hear Jesus say in the gospel, wants to take our burdens on himself, to help us. And, and this time of year, I am sure there are a lot of burdens that we need help sharing some of which is all the running around and taking care of loose ends. And, and maybe for some of us or some people that we know, those burdens are even greater, like the people affected by the fires. But our invitation today, as we celebrate this feast of Santa Lucia, someone who is so close to these people of Sicily, only because she is one of them, would be to remember that God chooses to be one of us and wants to help us with whatever it is, whatever our burdens might be that we need help with. He comes to save us from our sins. And that is the best thing of all for us to look forward to during this Advent season.